Good afternoon. In just a few moments, we expect to hear from President Trump again on today's mass shooting at a synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Authorities say a gunman with an AR-15 type rifle opened fire during Saturday's services. There you see the president arriving at this event. At least eight people have lost their lives. At least six people have been wounded, including four police officers. We expect to hear from the president in just moments. The president at the uh, Future Farmers of America event in Indianapolis. About 7,000 tickets were given away for this event today. <laughs> Kelly O'Donnell at the White House. The president has, uh, was expected to speak, is expected to speak shortly. He spoke uh, just uh, at Joint uh, Air Force Base Andrews uh, when he uh, uh, got on the plane. Let's go with uh, President Trump. Wow. Wow. Well, I want to thank you. When I hear the word future farmer, that's a very, very important term. You're very smart doing that. Future farmer. I hear some people want to go into a business or an industry. I say, I wouldn't want to do that, but I would like to be a future farmer. That I can tell you. That I can tell you. But as you know, earlier today, there was a horrific shooting targeting and killing Jewish Americans at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The shooter is in custody, and federal authorities have been dispatched to support state and local police and conduct a full and thorough federal investigation. This wicked act of mass murder is pure evil, hard to believe, and frankly, something that is unimaginable. Our nation and the world are shocked and stunned by the grief. This was an anti-Semitic act. You wouldn't think this would be possible in this day and age, but we just don't seem to learn from the past. Our minds cannot comprehend the cruel hate and the twisted malice that could cause a person to unleash such terrible violence during a baby naming ceremony. This was a baby naming ceremony at a sacred house of worship on the holy day of Sabbath. Anti-Semitism and the widespread persecution of Jews represents one of the ugliest and darkest features of human history. The vile, hate-filled poison of anti-Semitism must be condemned and confronted everywhere and anywhere it appears. There must be no tolerance for anti-Semitism in America or for any form of religious or racial hatred or prejudice. You know that. You know that very well. You know that very well. You're outstanding people. You were brought up incredibly by outstanding parents in most cases. And I just want to thank you for your understanding. Because today, with one unified voice, we condemn the historic evil of anti-Semitism and 
every other form of evil. And unfortunately, evil comes in many forms. And we come together as one American people. I have just spoken. Go ahead. We should, we should. I have just spoken with the mayor of Pittsburgh, Bill Peduto, terrific guy, and with the governor of Pennsylvania, who I've been dealing with quite a bit lately on the hurricanes and other things, Tom Wolf, two terrific people, to assure the full and complete resources of my administration in the investigation of this attack. We are praying for the families of the victims, and our hearts go out to the wounded law enforcement officers in Pittsburgh, very badly wounded and very brave. The results and the facts will be put out very shortly, but these were very brave officers. These are incredible people of law enforcement, and law enforcement does so much for us, so much for us. They really do. They do so much for us, and they're really unsung heroes. They don't get the credit they deserve, but I've always given them the credit. These are incredible patriots, incredible people. We mourn for the unthinkable loss of life that took place today, and we pledge in their name to fight for a future of justice, safety, tolerance, morality, dignity, and love. We must all rise above the hate, move past our divisions, and embrace our common destiny as Americans. And it doesn't mean that we can't fight hard and be strong and say what's on our mind, but we have to always remember those elements. We have to remember the elements of love and dignity and respect and so many others. As we hold Pennsylvania and the great people of Pennsylvania close in our hearts and prayers. I am glad to be here today in the wonderful state of Indiana. We love Indiana. And to address... Some President Trump addressing the uh, Future Farmers of America meeting today uh, in Indianapolis and uh, just spoke about this horrific massacre that occurred this morning. Um, in a synagogue, Tree of Life Congregation especially, in Pittsburgh. Uh, eight people have lost their lives, at least six injured. This uh, going on today is uh, the uh, suspected gunman has been uh, detained and is, is arrested. Let's go with our uh, justice correspondent, Pete Williams. Pete. Robert Bowers is his name, 46, year old, 46 years old from Pittsburgh, and authorities uh, have identified him, although not publicly, but many law enforcement officers say he's the one who entered the synagogue at about 10 o'clock this morning, armed with at least two and possibly three weapons, a handgun and an AR-15 type assault weapon. He fired several rounds, came out, had a gun exchange with police, went back in, and then finally came out. He was wounded. He's been taken to the hospital. We believe he's undergone surgery for that wound. And, of course, police are going to be questioning him. Uh, authorities say that he will be charged with federal hate crime laws, which, of course, could bring the death penalty. There were reports, Jose, that he had planted bombs in the cathedral. They say this is not true, that no IEDs were found. But this is his picture, Robert Bowers, 46 years old. And on a, a website called Gab, he had posted a number of virulently anti-Semitic comments, uh, including one just a few hours before today's shooting, talking about uh, effort by a Jewish uh, refugee organization to try to help other people. And he finally said, I can't sit by with this. And he said, quote, screw your optics, I'm going in. Gab, the website, says they have taken it down. Uh, taken down uh, his comments and had notified law enforcement about them.
And Pete, with the numbers that we've been reporting, at least eight dead, uh, six injured, including four police officers, it seems though, as though police arrived pretty quickly on the scene. That's right, and I think we're going to hear more about that. Uh, we're waiting to hear the details at a, a news conference at 4 o'clock when I believe the federal authorities will announce the charges today. They're going to try to move as quickly as they can to file charges, either by 4 o'clock or perhaps by later today, federal charges, although state authorities may file charges of their own. And perhaps we'll get an update on the uh, casualty figures as well, Jose. P. Williams, thank you very much. I want to go to NBC's Kelly O'Donnell standing by at the White House. Kelly, the president is scheduled after this uh, chat that he is having with the Future Farmers of America to go on to a Make America Great rally. Is that still what's on his schedule today? Well, the president has said he is considering canceling this rally. I've reached out to a number of White House officials for a status update. And they still, it's still in that phase of considering this. The president acknowledged many people have been lined up to see him appear tonight. But at the same time, it is a campaign rally. The event that we had just showed a portion of was an official White House event, the 91st Annual Future Farmers of America Convention. So we don't yet know if the president will do this. Among those top officials that he consulted today, his own daughter, Ivanka Trump, and son-in-law, Jared Kushner. Uh, Ivanka Trump converted to Judaism as a part of her nine-year marriage to Jared Kushner, and they talked to the president about uh, this issue today, and perhaps that would have some influence on his plans for the day ahead. As we heard, he is now calling it very clearly an anti-Semitic crime. We've seen his comments about this changed through the day as more of information became available. Called it out as evil and, of course, uh, acknowledged the hard work, sacrifice, and injuries to law enforcement in Pittsburgh. At this point, we don't have a change to the president's schedule, but he is considering canceling a rally. Of course, there's only a matter of days left until the midterm elections, and he was expected uh, to be on the campaign trail heavily over the next several days. We'll keep you posted as soon as we learn more. Hey, Kelly that? O'Donnell, thank you very much at the White House. Of course, we will be back on the air for any other major developments. There is continuing coverage on MSNBC and NBCNews.com. And a complete wrap-up tonight on NBC Nightly News. For now, I'm Jose Diaz-Balart, NBC News, New York.